10 players in the game already. Ball kicked away by Pelicutis. And a timeout called. Did that break in the action? 3.55 to go here in the first half. And it's Illinois 25. 25-14 Illinois. Here's the Scott Mitz drive. Not a bad one-on-one -on -one move for a guy 6'10". He put it on the floor, lifted up over the defense, and got it to go. So Scott with a couple of baskets. And it's good to see him play well because he's had a couple of rough games in a row. And, and the crowd, you know, is really with George Montgomery these days. And he's become the Levi Cobb of this basketball team. And when Scott's in there sometimes and makes a bad play, well, the crowd gets him a little bit. But Scott's done a very good job so far this afternoon. Those two baskets, and now he and George are both in the game. Ephraim Winters has taken a seat. Winters goes to the bench with 15 points so far in the game. Quinn Richards in that front. Pelicutis made a dive for that one. Quinn picks it up, drives, tries to feed underneath, and Michigan has the ball. McCormick down to Rocky Moore. He'll take the jumper. Uh, wait a minute. Meanwhile, come on, George. A foul is called. George Solomon waiting a good uh, five or ten seconds to blow the whistle. I think the call was correct. It looked like yeah. Douglas tripped E.T. as he went for the steal, but. <laughs> Took George a while to decide on the call. That's only the fourth team foul on the line. I'm Michigan holding right at five after picking him up early. Him fouled for quite a while. Pelicutis with the ball. Out of Jokic. And to the floor. Traveling finally called. On Jokic, Illinois ball. Another Michigan turnover. Tom Schaefer going to come back in here for Illinois. And he'll replace Doug Altenberger. Or no, make it Quinn Richardson goes to bench. That sends Altenberger into the backcourt now, so he and Douglas will be the guards with Schaefer, Mentz, and Montgomery along the front line. This is kind of a different now, look. I've seen this combination. Illinois with 11 point lead, and they've Went all the way. We're tied at two and tied at four, but other than that, it's been all Illinois and all Ephraim Winters with 15 points as far as the scoring goes. But he's had some great assists from Douglas and Montgomery. There's Montgomery. Pass intercepted by Butch Wade. Rocky Moore puts it up. No good. Too hard. And Douglas with the loose ball. So I will try it again with three minutes to go in the first half. Douglas will walk it down. Tom Schaefer now to Mintz. Scott on the baseline in trouble. Out to Douglas. Back to Mintz. Back to Douglas. Good Here's return jumper, pass. And it is no good. McCormick rebounds for Michigan. Deep pass down to Jokic. He'll take it in. And blocked by Oldberg. A great play. Great play. Boy, that got a few people out of their chairs. Let's see it again. Jokic for the jam, and Altenberger pinned it up against the glass. And Jokic with a four-inch height advantage over Altenberger. Looked like he was going to be uncontested. Doug came out. Oh, great pass to Douglas up, and no good. Rebound good by Schaefer. Oh. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Montgomery. What a pass. 27 to 14. Yolanda now feeling her oats. 13 point lead with a minute 50 to go in the first half. Wesley Rocky Moore out to Yoki. Jump shot. No good. Douglas rebound. Well, that cannot be the shot Bill Frieder wants. Yoki is just not, not, not a good a shooter. Right the alley oop. No good, but Altberger has the ball as it bounces off the backboard. Misconnections that time with Scott Mint. Relford and Turner are going to come back in here for the final minute of play along with Gilbert for Michigan if they get him in. Mintz jumps it. No good. Montgomery, no good. Next one into the hands of Butch Wade for Michigan. Leslie Rocky Moore to Butch Wade for Michigan. Way off. And Schaefer. Threw it away in the hands of Pelicutis to McCormick for the stuff. Now Schaefer had the rebound, but gave it right back to Michigan. It's 27-16. 
Did a great job of getting the rebound, but there's the return pass after the steal, and McCormick had no problem. 50 seconds to go in the first half. It looked like the Wolverines going to get those three substitutes in this half. Douglas. Oh, Doug Altenberger, scoreless in the first half, is Doug. Yolanda <laughs> try to burn that clock. It's down to 17 seconds. Of course, with a final shot and maybe a 13-point lead. Ten seconds to go. Inside Montgomery slapped away and a foul call in Pelicudi. Only the sixth team foul, so there'll be no shots. Here comes Gilbert, Turner, and Ralford back into the game for Michigan. Rocky Moore is going out. Pelicudi goes to the bench. There's George is moving inside. You see the reaching by 32, Pelkutis. Jokic goes out. All this for the final seven seconds of play. Winters is in to replace Montgomery. We get Quinn Richardson. Uh, jockeying around here on this final. That will be the final play of the half. Tom Schaefer is going to check out. So Illinois gets its best shooting five players in the game with seven seconds to go in the first half. 27-16 Illinois. Holtenberger inbounds and gets in the mitts. Five seconds. Back to Altenberger. And no good. Block. Griffin call. And that's going to be it for the first half. The clock runs down. The clock runs down to end the first half. Let's see that last play again. Great pass by Mintz. And a great block by Butch Wade. Butch Wade with the block that time. And the Illini will have to settle for an 11-point lead. At the end of the first half of play, an impressive first half turned in by the Illini. They lead the Wolverines 27 to 16. I told you about earlier, Illinois shooting 52% to uh, Michigan's 32% from the field. And Michigan has yet to go to the free throw line this afternoon. The Illini holding an edge on the boards. Uh, score from West Lafayette, Purdue leading Michigan State by 11. 32-21 with a minute to go in the first half. That's right. And that's the game the Illini fans are looking at closely because Illini and Purdue tied for the lead in the Big Ten. Some Michigan fans here at the Assembly Hall, numbered among the nearly 16,000 on hand. And this place is filled almost to the top. Maybe one row across the top. Empty. Now what's interesting about this first place tie between Illinois and Purdue is the fact that they're traveling partners and they play the same schools every week. So you really get a, a chance to keep a close eye on that race as long as those two teams, or any two teams, in fact, that travel together are on top because you always know who they're going to be playing. Well, we talked about the Illinois balanced scoring coming into this game, but it was not balanced in the first half as Ephraim Winters had 15 and the Illini had 27 points. And the last uh, five games after scoring 20 and 22 against uh, Missouri and Minnesota, Winters then went to 6, 11, 12, 8, and 10 in his next five games. So he's broken out of that scoring slump today, but uh, give some credit also to some fine passing from his teammates that have set up uh, a couple of thunderous jams here this afternoon. Starting the second half for the Wolverines, Eric Turner and Dan Pelicutis at the guards, Tim McCormick, Butch Wade, and Richard Relford across the front line for the Wolverines. And for the Illini, they have the starting lineup in there. Richardson, Douglas, Oldenberger, Montgomery, and Winters as we have a second half underway, Michigan with the ball. The Wolverines stayed in the locker room Still a waning seconds of halftime. So Bill Frieder must have had some uh, good words for him. There's Turner working for the shot. Picks up, draws the foul from Bruce Douglas. And two shots coming up here for E.T. There's a look at the foul. A nice little pump by E.T. in there. And I'll tell you what, Michigan's come out with a lot of movement on offense. Boy, this is always a key part of the basketball game. The first few minutes of the second half to see which team gets back into the flow of the game first, and Michigan's really moving well down there on offense. Here's Michigan's first free throw of the afternoon, and Turner with two points in the game. Makes it. He's a 71% free throw shooter, averaging 11 points a game. Out of Flint Central. Certainly ranked as one of the top guards in the conference, if not in the country. Makes them both, and it's 27 to 18. 
And Michigan's going to put on the pressure. Douglas clears off with it. Takes it down. All the way up and good. Doug Altenberger has his first points of the game. It's 29-18. Winters was back there with McCormick, and Altenberger just took it in himself. It's McCormick with the ball now to Richard Relford. He drives up and good. Good shot. So the Wolverines close it to 9, 29-20. As the second half scoring off to a much quicker pace than the first half was. Douglas way short with that jumper. And Turner down the middle. Looking both ways. Hits the floor. Traveling. Boy, he had his eyes going all sorts of ways that time. Looking for someone to pass to and just pulled up short. Did he ever? I thought he was going to pull up and shoot it. He thought he was trying to look off some of the defensive guys, but he finally just lost his footing. Michigan's made an adjustment on defense to try to cool winners off. They've got six foot, ten inch Tim McCormick on it. Montgomery. So, so that's what happens. They go right back inside at George instead, and he gets a chance for a three-point And Butch Wade picks up the foul, and that'll be his third. There it is again. After the pass, and a good one it was. George up strong and fouled by Butch Wade, and Big G goes to the free-throw line, and this is one of the favorite parts of the game, I think, for the crowd. In a game that hasn't seen many fouls, so Wade has three of them. So here's Big George. He makes Good looking free throw by George Montgomery. And he delighted the crowd with that one. Well, they agonized with his every miss from that foul strike. 12 point lead for the Illini. We played a minute and a half here in the second half. Telecutis goes to Wade. High off the glass and in. 32 22. Montgomery to Altenberger. And taken away by Pelicutis. Crowd wanted a foul. McCormick just bowled his way in there and put it in. 32-24. This Michigan offense will really come alive here in the second half. Well, they have hit some very difficult shots down there. Wade and McCormick hit one. And all of a sudden, the Wolverines are back in it. There's Montgomery, and he put it in, and he'll count. And Wade got him again, and that's number four on foot. So George just put it on the floor and took it to the glass. They pointed at Butch Wade. I don't think it was Wade. I think Pelicutis was the man that was underneath him. But they gave it to Wade, and that's number four. Four fouls on Butch Wade. As a team, uh, Michigan only has eight in the game. Tarpley comes back in to replay Wade. Wade at 6'8", 230-pound sophomore. He's a big kid. And George goes to the line. A chance for another three-point play. He was scoreless in the first half. And he has six points here in the first two and a half minutes of the second half. Illinois 35, Michigan 24. So, Yolanda, I've been trading the Wolverines three for two here the last two times down the floor. Dan Pelicutis from Downers Grove. Well, Michigan is just so much more active on offense in the second half than they were in the first. Richard Relford, and he can that jumper. 35-26, lead back to nine again. Sure doesn't look like a team that shot 32% from the floor in the first half. When Richardson open. Quinn's first shot of the night goes down. 37-26. I should say the afternoon. Hear those referees saying, watch your hands, watch your hands underneath there. Pelicutis bounces off winners, gets it to Relford as they shot again. And Richard Relford 
with the nice touch. 37-28. Well, Michigan had a recruiting bonanza the same year Illinois did when the Illini were bringing in Douglas and Winters and Altenberger. Michigan was bringing in a fine freshman group in Ralford, Wade, and Tarpley. Altenberger is fouled underneath. They'll get two shots. Richard Relford got the foul. Just another strong move, a good post up inside by Altenberger. Gave it the pump fake, and there you see the foul. So Doug Altenberger to the line for two shots. He is a 75% free throw shooter. First shot is good. 38-28. Illinois had an 11-point lead at halftime, and they've uh, held on to about that margin here in the second half. One more here for Doug. And made that one. And we have a timeout on the floor with 16 minutes, two seconds to go in the game. They score. Illinois, 39. And Michigan, 28. That's hold it here. Had the whistle for the timeout. And no timeout. Michigan ball. Pelicutis threw it away. Now the timeout <laughs> with 15.52 to go on the line up by 11, 39 to 28. Well, Michigan certainly has shown a different offense here in the second half. Here's part of it, Tim McCormick making that power move to the bucket against two Illini defenders, including up from Winters. Illini 39, Michigan 28, 11 point lead here the Illinois ball. Scott Mintz into the game, replacing Altenberger. And uh, Michigan's quickly got their shooting up to 43% after shooting 32% in the first half. Both teams perfect from the foul line, nine out of nine combined. Lanai shooting 57%, 16 out of 28 for the game. 15,952 the attendance here this afternoon, just about a sellout. Ephraim Winters, who had 15 points in the first half and hasn't taken a shot here in the second half. Douglas gets that ball back and to the floor, saves it to Winters. Drive, up, no good. Rebound off to Montgomery. That shot no good, and Michigan has the next one. Tuffley and McCormick rebounding for the Wolverines. Boy, look oh, at Winters, Winters and, and Tarpley. Tarpley. <laughs> Sharpley's got his elbow and Winters net. Relford off on that one and Montgomery has the rebound. And if he wouldn't have had it, Winters would have had the rebound. They, they were both were, there. They were all inside. We update you on that Purdue game now. The Boilers leading Michigan State now by 15 points. 42-27 right. with 16 minutes left. So it looks like Purdue's going to go to 6-1. and one. They rebounded nicely from that uh, drubbing they took from the Illini last Saturday. Montgomery could get the handle of the ball. And it'll be Michigan ball. Purdue bounced back with a victory over Michigan on Thursday. And now they're handling the Spartans of Michigan State today. Antoine Joubert back in the lineup for Michigan to replace Richard Relford. Joubert, the, one of the leading scorers, scorers in the history of Michigan high school basketball. And he was in the big school class, the Class A up there. He played at Detroit Southwestern, which is the same school. In fact, he was a teammate at one time of Leslie Rockymore. Oh, what a backcourt that must have been. Oh. Turner with the ball for Michigan. Cross court to Pelicutis. And he hits from the deep corner. Dan Pelicutis makes it 39 to 30. That's his first two points of the game. With 14 minutes to go, Elana bring it down. Richardson rims it and Tarpley rebounds for Michigan. Eric Turner dishes to Antoine Joubert. The Delano are back on defense, so Michigan goes to Pelicutis. And from the right side, he hits. Two quick baskets by Pelicutis. It's 39 32, a seven point lead. As the Michigan offense has really picked up here in the second half. They look really good on that end of the floor. 
What a turnaround. Montgomery to Altenberger inside. Going to have an offensive foul on Doug Altenberger. And credit Pelicutis for causing problems on that one. There's a pass, and actually Doug caught that ball in a pretty bad spot. It's kind of a tough pass for Montgomery to make it. Kind of forced inside that time. So Michigan now with a chance to cut it to five. Turner underneath Tarpley, great play. Good pass by Eric Turner. And Tarpley cuts it to five, 39-34. Here's the dish off. Boy, I'll tell you, Turner can penetrate and pass it. And just a little flip for Tarpley. Illinois needs a basket. Douglas comes up short into the hands of Montgomery. He puts it up and in, a big play for Montgomery. And for the Illini, 41-34 because might help to break the Michigan momentum here a little bit. Douglas came up short of the jumper. Montgomery rebounded and put it in. And that's Eric Turner in the baseline, taking the quick pass from Pelicutis. 41-36. My, how the shooting has improved for Michigan this second half. Montgomery again, no good, winners up high, no good. Douglas rebounds up, and no good. Montgomery, no good. Next one, Illinois, Montgomery, foul. Boy, you talk about some work on the offensive boards. McCormick got the foul, but that was quite a sequence. Watch this. Winners almost had the jam tip. Douglas got the ball back. You're going to see him miss, and watch Montgomery go after this rebound. That's no place for the faint of heart right there, folks. <laughs> Winners, Montgomery, and when George finally controls this ball, he gets fouled. And a good little pump fake right there, up good and move. two free throws for George, who's made two out of two this afternoon. Much way back into the game for Michigan, carrying four personal fouls. McCormick leaves, and George Montgomery at the free throw line. And no good. So he breaks his. Uh, Two for two streak. This occurs at 11.52 to go in the game. Illinois on top, 41-36. Shot by Montgomery. This one's good. And a timeout. 11.52 remains. Illinois, 42. Michigan, 36. We're back in one minute. Illinois, 42. Michigan, 36. Going to see a little of the action underneath. Watch this. Tarpley and Ephraim winners. Watch Tarpley get that elbow up. They list him at 6'10". He looks really a couple, three inches taller than Winters inside. It's a physical <laughs> game, this game of college basketball. And now Michigan's shooting is up to 48%. Illinois down to 50%, 17 out of 34. A lot of nine turnovers in the game to Michigan's eight. The Illini are going to try a little zone here to cool off Michigan. Kind of a 1-2-2 two, two set with Bruce Douglas out in front. Well, Michigan's got a couple of guys who can break that zone, Joubert and Turner. And remember, it's tougher to rebound out of a zone, too, so the Illini are going to have to worry about getting good position. There's Joubert. Dishes off and back to Joubert. Pretty active zone by the Illini so far. No really good shots there yet for Michigan. Butch Wade back to Joubert. Well, with Joubert, Turner, and Pelicutis in there, you got three good ones. There's Turner missing, and rebound winners. And just what you were saying, Lana, get the rebound. There's winners. Doesn't drop. Rebound. A foul on Michigan. Puts Wade and he's gone. I think. Five fouls if Wade is the culprit. 
Here's another look. And Ephraim Winters going after his own miss. There's the foul. Wade got him on the arm, and it's goodbye for Butch. Butch Wade out of the game with five personal fouls. As I mentioned, his, his team his team just has 11 for the game, so he had just about half the Michigan total. Unlike some teams, though, Michigan really can afford to lose a guy like that. They have a clone yeah. on the bench just about waiting for him to come in. They've got Relford. Jokish is still sitting back there. They've got a lot of big forwards to play. Scott Mintz into the game to replace Richardson. The Illini with a call lineup in there now. Montgomery, Mintz, Winters, Baldenberger, and Douglas. That's about as big as Illinois can get. That's right. Plus, uh, Schaefer would replace Aldenberger. <laughs> Douglas underneath Montgomery dropped it. Good idea. Douglas anticipated the break by George, but George didn't get his hands on the ball. Pelicutis open for the shot. Too hard. And Winters in great position. Uses that body well and hauls down the rebound. And don't forget, he's working against the Big Ten's leading rebounder in Tarpley. He just blocked him right off the glass, and the last two rebounds have been all effort. Ten minutes to go in the game. It's Scott Smith misses way off and out. And Michigan has the ball. Watch out here. Turner drives all the way. Eric Turner took it all the way that time with 42 to 38. A four-point lead now. 9.45 to go. Montgomery drive. Blocked by Tarpley. Boy, what a beautiful defensive play. Tarpley saw that one coming, and he was ready. So now Michigan with a chance to pull within two points. Illinois puts Mintz on top of the zone now to try to harass him on that outside shooting. Joe Frieder off the bench, shouting some instructions to Pelicutis as they set it up here. Nine minutes to go, first half, or <laughs> in second half. And Joe Bear hits the jumper. 42 to 40. Down to a two-point lead. And what was 11 point, 11 point lead at halftime has now dwindled to two. That's four points for Joe Bear. And Illinois wants a timeout. Eight minutes, 50 seconds to go. Illini 42, Michigan 40. We're back in one minute. Now Michigan has picked up the pace of both ends of the floor. You can see him here on defense as Tarpley bats away George Montgomery's intended drive. That's a heck of a play. You and know Michigan. that happens very often, Dave. You see a team pick up the intensity on one end of the floor like Michigan did starting the second half on offense. It makes you want to play defense a little bit harder, too, when some of those shots start to drop. Well, Pelicutis in there, who did not play much in the first half, is uh, a good floor leader along with Turner. And he has seemed to help the uh, Michigan offense quite a bit. Richardson back in the game to replace Scott Mintz. There's not much question about which way this game is heading. Illinois is going to have to do something to turn it back around. Turn the tide. Winners with 15 first half points, scoreless here in the second half. He's only had one shot. And just about lost the ball there. Altenberger with a save. Takes the jumper from the corner and hits. Well, you can hear that net pop all the way at half court. Not only did he come up with a loose ball making a save there, he just turns around and fires it in from the corner, and it's 44 to 40. Big basket by Doug Altenberger. Now Illinois has gone back to the man-to-man, -man, and again, Tarpley and Winters going at it pretty hard here on the near side. Tim McCormick with the ball, takes the jumper, and he hits. 44-42, everything that's going up there now in the Michigan end is going in. McCormick now is six points. And a foul called. Away from play, it's on Ephraim Winters. So now the Wolverines with a chance to tie it up as Illini pick up the third team foul of the second half. For winners, his first foul of the game. Illini have only had seven fouls the whole game. 
So Michigan with the ball and with momentum here in the second half. They've really been moving on offense. Calacutis to Gilbert. Turner to McCormick. Now Gilbert pulls up with a jumper. No good. Rebound out of bounds off Tartley. And it's Illinois ball. The Illini got a break. Tarpley and McCormick were down there inside. They had good position, too, but they both kind of knocked it out of bounds. So McCormick at 6'11 and Tarpley at 6'10. The twin towers in there for Michigan. Here's Altenberger driving. Back to Douglas. 